I really was hitting you up because I was like, bro, why the uh, why you let G Herbo and them do you like that? <laughs> I was, cause I was just like in the mall, like, oh, like this happening. Like, you know. I was just like, like this is like this happening, and I was like thinking as it's going on, like this happening, like yeah. it was like that. You know, something just going on. Like if you get into, it's like if you was in a car wreck, you can't stop it. Like as you tumbling, I'm just like the car tumbling. Yeah, my yeah. Yeah. Say that's a public service announcement for the simple fact that I don't be having nobody name in my mouth, especially niggas though. If you have my name in your mouth, talking to another party, a person, I hope you able to back it up, and I hope you tough, way tougher than me. Cause if I hear it, I'ma slap. I'm about to start treating niggas like the bitches they are. A lot of you niggas is in bed and gon' stay his own cap head. But me, I never been a bitch on folks now. I ain't never been a bitch. I don't even play with ass niggas. And a lot of you ass niggas be doing bitches. So I'm just warning y'all. If you a bitch ass nigga and you got my name in your mouth and you really don't want me to hear that you got my name in your mouth, which I always do, I'm not gonna spare you niggas no more. I'm going to start treating you as niggas like Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on the ongoing conversation from the interview that was all over the internet a few weeks ago with Funny Marco, G Herbo, and Southside. It turned up. And then now you see what Chris Brown brought it back up right there. And it seemed like he was doing like a joking little way, knew it to get the people to like laugh. That's the kind of content that Funny Marco does and stuff like that. This seemed like they was going to be harmful or nothing. Well, the blogs picked this one up and then they actually tied it and connected to what G Herbo had to say in his story right there. And I had a link in the description where you could watch the interview in full it on Funny Marco YouTube channel, but you heard G Herbo. He said, hey, these niggas got my name in my, my, in my in their mouth. They got no business for this. That nigga said the B word about 15, 20 times in less than a minute right there. And I believe G Herbo is serious about that. Whatever niggas is saying about him. He didn't say a name though, but the way the blogs work, you Instagram, Twitter, things like that. They'll fill in some stuff for you, nigga. If they feel like you directing it to somebody, niggas is going to try to, to sell a story at times and everything. But he didn't put a direct person on it. And it got filled in for one, one, uh, for one for him on the blogs is Chris Brown. Well, G Herbo went to uh, academics comments and said, I'm not talking about no effing Chris. Stop posting this gang. Y'all reach it. And then Chris Brown came in. Y'all got to chill with the negative ish. Herbo is my real blooder. Now y'all can go listen to the album and chill the F out. Jesus Christ. And man, this is what come with being a celebrity nowadays, bro. People is looking, people is digging, niggas going to piece stuff together. You got uh, conspiracy theories, you got this, you got that. And the internet is just full of chaos in today's time, bro. And, you know, I tell G. Herbo, just chill, relax, bro. You going to be all right, bro. You straight. Don't worry about what niggas is saying. Chris Brown got the new album out, bro. Niggas ain't meaning no harm. We ain't trying to see niggas get into it, bro. It's getting closer to the winter holidays coming up and things like that, bro. Everything going to be straight. They going to be all right. They both say, nigga, they good. They locked in. It ain't no pressure between them. And the blogs is taking what he said in the story from somebody else and putting it together and saying that, hey, he's shooting this at Chris Brown for talking about him in that interview. I don't feel like G Herbo would be that upset about it, just keeping it all the way a thousand. I feel like he would probably hit Chris Brown direct, like, hey, nigga, what's up, bro? It's that. But nah, they say they good, man. That's good to hear, good to see. One thousand. Stay on your pivot for shit show.